Face, The Papers, tonight at 10.30 and 11.30 on the BBC News Channel. This is BBC News, I'm Jane Hill. The headlines at two. The deadline set by Russia for Ukrainian troops in Mariupol to surrender has passed. A Ukraine Marine commander in the city says his soldiers won't give up. We are probably facing our last days, if not hours. The enemy is outnumbering us 10 to 1. They have advantage in the air, in artillery, in their forces on land, in equipment and in tanks. Western allies promise more military aid for Ukraine as fighting intensifies along a 300-mile front line in the east of the country. The Prime Minister faces criticism in the House of Commons for his lockdown-breaking fine in advance of tomorrow's vote on whether there should be an investigation into claims he misled Parliament. Why does the Prime Minister think everybody else's actions have consequences except his own? I've explained uh, why I bitterly regret uh, receiving an FPN. I, I, ap I apologise uh, to the House. Prince Harry talks about catching up with the Queen for the first time in two years in an interview with US television. It was just so nice to see her. You know, she's on, she's on great form. We always, she's always got a great sense of humour uh, with me and I'm just making sure that she's, you know, protected. Russian and Belarusian players won't be allowed to compete at this summer's Wimbledon because of the invasion of Ukraine. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to BBC News. A deadline set by Russia for Ukrainian fighters in Mariupol to surrender has passed.